Hey Slightly Unblended, welcome back to my channel today. I was wanting to be a little extra. Hopefully I hit that note and if you'd like to see how I got this look then just keep on watching. Let's see how long the sun lasts because it's been going in now and I might have to switch to my ring light and I hope my settings are right. I believe I had it on sunny. But anyway, I wanted to try to do something a little extra and then I got in a out of nowhere creator rub a little off the new. Okay, let's try this again because as soon as I started, the battery's on. But I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my lip with the ABH eye primer and I have an array of different palettes kind of, sort of, that I will be using today just for certain shades that I found that I would like in the last few days that I've been playing around with them. But yeah, I really didn't give quite a review on the Conspiracy palette and I think that I just didn't because I was over it by the time that I got it because look at all those gray hairs. Nothing like the sun to bring out my old age. But anyway, I um, didn't quite feel like I gave it a review because I was over it only because I was in line for like four hours trying to buy it and it was, you know, it was a whole fiasco. And then by the time I got it, I was just like, whatever, you know? Cause I got it on the, when they were bringing it back for the pre-sale. But I wasn't really looking for the color story when I got it, which honestly I feel like is because I just was over it. But I've been using it quite a bit the last few days. Well, this past week, I haven't done a whole, whole lot of anything, but I did like two looks with it back to back, like two days in a row, and was like, okay. I found that I really love the yellow food video. Oh my gosh, it's like, almost reminds me of a bright yellow, like a highlighter, which I live because I need to be like neon colors in my life. So, yeah. I got these, I wanted to try them, and they came in yesterday, but they're the e.l.f. Lawn and Define Eye Tape. So I have, they're long, so I split it in half <laughs> and put it there. So, just to try something different. I'm going to use my Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics to start out with, and my brushes are a mess because I just jumped into this, I'm trying to get all this going before I lose the sun because it's now almost four o'clock so I have like an hour and 20 minutes or so before I lose the sun and I really would rather use more natural lighting instead of my ring light and it makes for better pictures and everything so I'm gonna hurry but can't really rush with blending and stuff I'm just gonna take this purple from the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette and I'm gonna apply it onto the outer corner of the lid and up into the crease there goes the sun. I'm just gonna extend it out just a little bit. And I quite don't know how I feel about my brows right now. I'm trying a different, <laughs> I'm trying a different approach. My L'Oreal uh, Micro Ink Pen, I ran out of it pretty fast. And I think it was because I was using concealer on my brows before just to try to like, not be an obvious mark of makeup and whatnot, but then I used soap and my Urban Decay brow blade and just kind of filled in the sparse areas and I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about them. I'm going to run this to the crease and I'm going to try not to bring it up too far though because then I already wiped it off on the other side because I was mad. clear of the brow bone for right now like I'm trying not to take it up that far even I did a little on the side but it's just for the blend so now I'm just gonna take my Sigma E25 brush that I have orange all over take texture make sure that it's cleaned off 
And I'm just going to run that through your blending windshield wiper, ugh, doing windshield wiper motions. Just gonna blend this out right here to get it good. Blend it, because I'm trying not to mess with the purple too, too much after I have it. We are gonna have to go in and touch it up a little bit, but I just wanna get a good blend going. Just doing windshield wipers back and forth. I'm trying to hold it towards the end of the brush so that there is not a lot of pressure and it's just my wrist and the brush you're doing the work. The closer to the uh, hairs of the brush that you hold it, the more pressure is applied and it makes for a more harsh blend. And that's not really what we're going for. We want a good and even blend. The lighting, it still looks okay on the camera. I have a kind of body mirror put up so that I can see, but I'm losing the sun, so that's fun. To blend that out, I'm just gonna use the Conspiracy palette and go into Flaming Hot, which I'll show you the purple that I use in the BH Zodiac palette because there are a few. Um, I keep the plastic out of everything. <laughs> but I used this purple right here. I just stabbed it! Look, it's all under my finger! Okay. Oh, it was Leo. There's a big nice jab there beautiful okay now i'm just going to take <laughs> act like that didn't happen take my morphe m507 brush make sure i have it clean because i probably don't because i should have cleaned my brushes off before i started but i didn't think about that i was just ready to get started i'm going to take flame and hot and i'm going to blend that out so what i'm going to do here is i'm just right at this purple where it's softened with the red a little bit better because I was like oh yeah red and purple is going to blend great and then I was like oh no I should have used the pink and I think our palette was a pink usually my go-to for blending out a purple if I'm not using just one palette by itself is the BH Cosmetics Second Factor Brazil I love 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 that hot pink shade in there and should have brought it, but I didn't. So I'm just using what I got and making it work if I can because, like I said, I already wiped it off once and that was when I realized I really needed a pink. But I got it. I did a poll on my Instagram about this because I knew that I needed to film something. I have one that I'm working on, which should be the Elf Cosmetics. Well, full face using mainly Elf Cosmetics affordable makeup. Uh, full face of affordable makeup which by the time this goes up I'm sure that'll be up and yeah I said you know I put up a poll it was like what kind of makeup should I do and then it was like dramatic makeup uh, one palette look and then for the one palette look I, was, I gave an option of just some palettes that I could think of off the top of my head that I had so it was like the tribe but Uvia's Place, Norvina Volume 2 or Volume 3, um, and the Conspiracy Palette. But the Dramatic Makeup was the one that was winning, and, be, <laughs> and people were voting for the Conspiracy Palette. So I was like, okay, I'm going to incorporate it somehow, which I knew I wanted to for the yellow. But I was like, okay, I don't want to just do a look with just this palette. Once I have that laid down, I actually think that I'm going to take just a little bit more just to get that color nice and built up and then I'm going to go in and blend it out making sure that I'm getting everything masked out. I'm going to take it a little bit farther out to this tape that way you can get the sickening blend. I felt like this looked pretty pretty good. I liked 
how it turned out and I was like, all right, I'm excited to do this. Now, I'm gonna take the Luxie 237 brush and make sure I cleaned all off because I know I didn't clean it all. Blend it. Excuse you. I'm gonna blend this red out just a little bit, just soften it up. I'm gonna run this brush over. So the weather has been so, so weird. It's been, yesterday it said it was supposed to be cloudy and it was sunny for a good part of the day. And then it got cloudy and then, no, it was it was cloudy for a good part of the day. It was sunny for a little bit. Then it got cloudy and then it was like a beautiful sunset. And I was like, okay, Arkansas. <laughs> it's, just, it's been like the other day it said it was going to be cloudy and it was sunny all day. And I was like, all right, whatever. I need the sun to stay out for more than one day though because I feel like that is, mainly what is wrong with why I'm in such a rut. So now I'm just going to take cheese dust. I'm going to stick my finger in it. Um, got it in Illuminati. Oof. Okay. Morphe M507 brush, a little bit of cheese dust. Tapping off the excess. I'm just going to apply it right or left off. This, I feel like, is where I really started noticing that a hot pink would have made this a lot easier. Because the hot pink, I could have just put it down and then blended it either with a red or went straight in with the yellow. And then kind of like got the orange from the hot pink and the yellow. But yeah, I wasn't thinking. But the reason I was wanting to do something kind of extra was because my hair, I never, never do anything with my hair. The only reason that it looks okay ever is because I don't use heat. I'll wash my hair, so I wash my hair a couple times a week and then I, I'll let it get damp and I'll roll it either with the rolling hair rollers or a headband just so I can make it easier and not have to deal with it very much. But I spent an hour, hour and a half, if we count today, on my hair. It reminds me of before I even got into makeup. I spent all kinds of time on my hair, getting here what my makeup looked like. I just was doing, using the little, I don't have one, but it's like the little spongy looking applicators that comes in palettes that was how I was applying that and then my wings I did with um, just regular eyeliner and they were no wing they were just like not even a flick it was just like a squiggly but I'm going to take this ABH A14 brush and not a fat and this is also one of my favorite shades from this palette if I had to pick the shades for me that made the palette it would be not a fact in food videos and ranch. I really like ranch. It's such a beautiful, brightening highlight shade. What I'm going to do with this is right here at the end of this purple where it meets that red, I'm going to blend it. I'm going to use a little bit more of that red here in a minute. What is the name of that one? Flaming Hot. I tried with Cheetos. How I didn't remember Flaming Hot Cheetos. Yeah, that's <laughs> where my mind is. Okay. I'm just going to kind of blend them together. This is a pretty, pretty shade. And it really deepens that purple. Because I'm going to want it to be quite defined. I'm going to take the Morphe M507 brush again and go back in with a little bit more of Flaming Hot. Just going to Okay, so <laughs> for the last week, I feel like it's been, I have been just like getting random stuff stuck in my head. Like for a minute it was TikToks and it was the um, one where it was like, you're my dad. Yeah, that one, that one's going to get stuck in my head. And then, um, but the last week it's been, and I wouldn't have even had an idea about this video if it wasn't for watching Markiplier try not to laugh videos. I can rewatch them over and over. But there was this one, I can't even remember which number 
one of those it was that he did but it was one where it was like this kid i guess it was like a birthday party and this lady was like what do you have and he was like a knife and she was like no and he was running with it and like i don't know why but it's been just randomly popping into my head and i've been laughing too much about it if I can remember which one of those Try Not To Laughs that was, I'll definitely link it down below because I love Markiplier and the Try Not To Laugh videos. They're so funny. What I'm doing is taking the Sigma E2, E25 brush and just softening that orange up. I'm going to take the ColourPop E1 brush and I'm going to take my fave food videos and apply it up towards the brow bone. So I'm, glad. Colors, that part? I'm so glad this is all on camera. And once I have this yellow, look at it. I don't even know if the camera can pick it up. I should probably turn the lock on, but I don't want to. But this is so vibrant. I'm like looking in my like in my mirror back here behind the camera to see if I can see anything, but I can't tell anything. Partly because I need my glasses. So I didn't realize how much I really needed my glasses till the other day. We went out to go pick up some groceries and I needed some beads. I didn't really need them, but I bought them because we were in the craft store for so long that I was like, oh, I feel like I have to buy something, at least the one thing. And they had a sale on some of the cheaper beads and I was like, okay, I'll just get one little strand of those. Anyway, we went to Chili's and I had my glasses on which I rarely wear my glasses because I usually always have eyelashes on. I just didn't feel like putting on eyelashes. And so, before I get distracted by talking, I'm gonna take the Morphium 507 brush and some more cheese dust just to kind of build that back up. But, we were watching, they had the, I think ESPN or whatever in the bar area, and we always like to sit in there, and we made uh, friends with the, with one of the people, one of the people that work there, so. We like to talk to him. And anyway, the sports channel was on and they were playing Miracle, I think was what it was, that hockey movie, like 2000 something. And they just had the subtitles on. And I was trying to read it and I took my glasses off and was like, and then I put them back on and I was like, I really do need my glasses. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed by any means. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Flamin' Hot and just kind of build it back up because I lost a little bit of it in here, in the crease. Just gonna blend it and I'm gonna focus it on this outer bit here. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this yellow towards the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna use the Sigma E25 brush because I really like it. See the sun? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> trying to figure out like which one of the blinds I opened would make the lighting better, but I don't want to mess it up. I'm gonna take a little bit more food videos and I'm just gonna focus it. Make sure I got all the excess off there. I don't want to make it brown. So I'm just gonna very gently blend it and I'm going to focus it right here. So now I've lost a little bit of the purple. And I keep saying that I've lost it. It's, like, it's still there. It's just not how I want it. So I'm going to go back into the purple from the Zodiac palette. I'm just going to take that ABH A14 brush and apply it back to the outer corner and just kind of run it through the crease just a little bit, very light handedly. I'm going to cut the crease here anyway. So. Just to give it a little bit more build up. And I need to apply just a tiny bit more of that one orange shade that I can't think of what the name of it is right now, but it's my favorite one aside from the yellow in this conspiracy palette. I'm fixing to be so mad at myself. Not a fat, I knew it. <laughs> okay. Take it and just give it a little baby, baby, baby blend. That's a little bit more how I want it. I'm just gonna, I don't know if you can see it. 
I'll probably zoom in. But right here, I need to add a little bit more that's not a fact for this purple and this red. Kind of neat, but it's not as intense as I want it. So I'm just really focusing that between the two. I know I'm holding it closer to the bristles of the brush, the hair, but I'm being very, very, very light-handed. Like, no pressure, just the movement of my wrist. I think that's as good as I'm going to get that for right now. So what I'm going to do is take this ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair Double Zero and then cut the crease. And I will be removing that with this. Just remove that and apply the concealer, I mean the eye primer. But what I found that I need to do on this eye that I didn't on this one and why I fought so hard with this one was because I was going to try to use Punch, the cream gel liner, or the cream gel color from ColourPop. It is so dry, okay? Like, desert dry, crumbly, bad, doesn't work. That's, but that one's old, so I need to order another. I was mad. So I was like, whatever, we're just going to go with blue. So I used Santos from Melt Cosmetics, which is one of my favorites, to apply that into the crease. So what I think I'm going to do before I do my shimmer is I'm going to apply this and then probably cut the crease a little more. I'm talking too much because it cut off mid sentence. So I'm going to try not to be as talkative because I feel like I'm annoying. But I'm just going to apply this and probably use concealer to cut it and then clean it off and it's going to be a process. So I'm going to get right to that. <laughs> So, the playlist that I have on, I tried to time myself, and it's like 27 minutes, so I did my hair yesterday. It was 27 minutes, I listened to it twice, like it took me about an hour to do it, and, like, and then I spent time on it today because I didn't have anything to put it in while I slept, so I just threw it in a scrunchie. But I did get a little bit of mess up here, the top, so I'm just going to touch that up, and I got that up about where the red meets the purple so what I'm going to do just take a little bit of purple I want to take it on the ColourPop E10 brush though because it is more precise here at the dome part the tip of the brush so I'm just going to take that and I'm going to kind of stamp it down well I say stamp and I blend I'm just going to like baby blend it so I don't know what I want to do Okay, now that I have that, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that concealer. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of rub it there. I'm just going to wipe this off here a little bit anyway. I'm just going to take this Santos liner and the brush that comes with the Amore Journal Collection. This is the 96 line, line brush. It's all coming off. It's probably from it rubbing in the drawer that I have it in. So I'm going to take it. I have it thinned out, like I pressed it to get more precision out of it. And I'm just going to apply it from the inner corner, bring it out, and flick it. But if you're interested in what I'm listening to, since YouTube doesn't like to let you listen to music in your videos, then I can put together a playlist of my little playlist if I can find it all on YouTube. And I will have the playlist on my channel, so create a playlist or whatever. You gotta remember to make sure that it's on public. Okay, the lighting probably changed some because over there I looked up and there was like the blonde shadows were all over me. So I switched that out. I have made quite the mess with this, which is exactly why I did this like this. There are some spots that I want to touch up, but as soon as I get it touched up, I'm just going to cut the rest of the crease. Not fully, but like under where we can get the wand effect and go from there. In the event of saving time, which I'm all about right now because I'm hungry and we're cooking dinner and I'm excited about it. This is the Morphe M421 brush and that is what I use to cut the crease and everything. 
But instead of going in with my eye primer and washing this off, I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep this down because it is a fresh base. And I will be taking Hair into a Juvia's Place. Beautiful shade right here. I do not want to butcher it and be disrespectful. But I'm going to use it. I don't even know, did it show? Okay, right here. It's so, so pretty. Um, I'm going to take this Luxie Small Shader Brush and just apply it to the lid. And I forgot that I had taken purple back in, so I'm just going to go about halfway. Then I'm going to work with the purple and then finish up the shimmer. I'm quite scatterbrained today because I stayed up too late last night watching the Terminator movie, knowing that I needed to film today. And no one asked for my opinion, but I'm still just gonna say that the first and second Terminator movies are the best. And this last one was pretty good, but forever will the first and second ones be my favorite. The second one has been my favorite forever, and I really, really like the first one. Those ones are really good. Okay, A14 brush by ABH and this purple shade. Just going to bring this in just so that I can make it not as hard and give it a nice shade. I'm going to take not a fat and just kind of blend that into the purple and onto the edge just a little bit more. And now I'm just going to finish applying that blue shimmer shade. Now, I'm sorry I keep looking away. I'm just trying to make sure that my camera is still recording because it cut me off because it's rude. I'm just going to finish that up real quick. Now I'm going to take just a little bit more of Not A Fat and blend it with this beautiful blue shimmer. Oh my gosh, I cannot get over how pretty that blue is. But I'm just going to do it like that. I wish that I was feeling a little more creative because I feel like this would have been better, but I just feel so overwhelmed. There's so many palettes that are coming out, so many palettes that have come out, so many palettes that I have that I just look at and I'm like, you don't even inspire me and it's like, makeup industry, I mean, okay, I'm a little biased. The makeup industry, besides ColourPop, needs to slow down. I really live for ColourPop coming out with stuff every week. I just like to look because I'm not gonna I don't I don't get everything that they come out with because a lot of their stuff that they've been coming out with lately has been pretty neutral and that's just not what I want there has been some things that I have got because I love their formula and I did need some neutral palettes so that was what I did I'm going to clean off this little bit of fallout that I have under my eye here and then I'm just gonna remove this but actually first, I forgot, I need to clean this brush off. I'm just gonna make sure that these are blended together really well before I remove the tape. And I'm just gonna clean that off and I'll be right back. my disrespectful batteries died on me again that the rechargeable ones have completely lost it for me but I just went ahead and finished a couple of little things I was just doing the same thing um but yeah I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I well I'll do lashes and all that but I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I'll be right back Cosmetics Purple from the Zodiac palette and I blended it out with Not A Fat from the Conspiracy palette and then I blended that out with Food Videos. And for the inner corner highlight I just used that lighter blue shade from the Sahara 2. So this is like half like kind of a super dramatic look. Not as dramatic as I 
feel like I could have done, but I couldn't really think of something to do. So I feel like it's a nice dramatic. What do you think? Um, I will try to link that Markiplier Try Not To Laugh down below if I can figure out which one it is because everybody should see that one. It's funny and any of his stuff, like, I love I love watching his videos. He has some really awesome content. I don't play video games often, but I really like to watch him play the horror games and stuff like that. The SCP Containment Breach and all that is like, I love watching it. I'll make a playlist of the songs that I have that I was listening to while I was doing my makeup that I couldn't have on while I was filming because YouTube. So, <laughs> I'll do that. Let me know what you would like to see next down below in the comments. I will list everything that I used in the description box. I'll have my TikTok, my Twitter, my Facebook page, and my Instagram in the description box as well. So yeah, I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.